part three of the daily practical session we are going to discuss structural line in dentine there is different types of structural lines in dentine a quick revision for the structural lines in enamel if you remember there were two different types of structural lines in enamel both of them indicated the activity and inactivity uh, periods of enamel secretion the, they were named the cross striation that represented daily incremental lines and the enamel stria or incremental lines of Ritzius which represented the weekly um, secretion of enamel here we have the same kind of lines structural lines in dentine in addition to some other structural lines we are going to discuss so the lines the structural lines in dentine are divided or sorted into three dif different types <clears throat> the first lines are associated with the primary s curvature of the dentinal tubules it's called schrager line the second kind is called is associated or the second kind of lines are associated with the secondary curvature of dentinal tubules they are called contour line of Owen and the third kind are the incremental lines uh, that actually uh, represents the same lines found in dentine the daily one here is called von Ebner's lines and the weekly almost weekly ones are the Anderson lines the incremental lines that called the Anderson lines also has some kind of contour lines of Owen and that's going to be discussed in details later all of these lines are approximately perpendicular to the dentinal tubules and we are going to see that in the histological sections in a few seconds so these are the uh, types they are either associated with primary curvature secondary curvature or uh, the uh, incremental lines of secretion let's go and discuss them the first line is called Schrager line so Schrager line is not easy to find in sections if you find one then you are really lucky the Schrager line is uh, associated with the S shape curvature remember the S shape curvature we talked about we said there is a it has a concavity and a convexity the convexity and the concavity of this is shape here and here is demarcated by a line as you can see here this is the line that demarcated the S shape beside the root and if we are lucky we would see another one demarcating this area if we are lucky but we can see that here okay that's the Schrager line it is the line that show us the concavity the maximum concavity and the maximum convexity of the S shape of the primary curvature and that's it the other kinds of structural lines are the lines that are associated with the secondary curvatures in the inside the tubules inside the primary curvature remember this slide we discussed it in the uh, part one we talked about the s shape of the tubules and we said that inside this s shape there is these ups and downs these ups and downs are seen as you can see here in these white lines called contour line of owen okay so they represent coincidence of secondary curvatures also contour line of Owen could be seen between primary dentine which is this and secondary dentine not in this uh, slide I think this slide is not in the right place for it I will show you another one I'm not convinced that this is secondary dentine anyway this is the primary curvature and this is the S shape of it 
Uh, I will show you another slide in a few minutes to show you contour line of OL. Yes, this is okay. So this is the primary dentine, the secondary dentine, and this is the primary dentine. And as you can see, there is a difference or a, a change in the tubules direction, creating this line. Which is called contour line of Owen. So contour line of Owen is a line caused by change in the curvature of the tubules, whether between the the primary and the secondary dentine, or bet uh, in the secondary curvatures inside the primary curvature. Okay. If you watch the video, the uh, primer or the starter video at the beginning of the session you would have an idea what is primary, what is secondary dentine. We are going to discuss them in details in, the, in part four, but the primary or the starter video uh, goal was to give you an idea about the terms I'm using in the previous parts. So we talked about Schrager line, which is associated with the S primary shape curvature, contour line of Owen, that is associated with secondary curvature or the curvature between primary and secondary dentine. Now we are going to talk about the incremental lines. I think you remember you saw something similar last session in the enamel uh, histology. The von Ebner lines really looks like the cross striation, as you can see here, and they only could be seen under really high magnification. The dentinal tubules are walking like this, or this is the path of it, and these are the incremental lines of von Ebner's which look actually like the crustaceans of the enamel. They represent daily uh, increments or deposition of dentine. This is a really low, low magnification. And as you can see here, you can see the incremental lines walking on the, the uh, perpendicularly on the tubules. In this slide, they said here, these are incremental lines of von Ebner, but they are not. They are called incremental lines of Anderson, and I'm gonna explain that for you. Be attention, give attention, because this is also a problem in the drawing uh, video that I want you to give attention to. Some uh, when von Ebner uh, described these lines, he didn't specify which lines he was talking about. So some sometimes in some books, some uh, books describe Anderson lines as von Ebner's lines. But in the video, they also describe these lines as von Ebner lines. Just remember, when you see a low magnification photo like this, you can't see von Ebner lines and you can't see cross striations. These incremental lines that could be seen in low magnification in light microscope are either enamel stria in the enamel or incremental lines of Anderson. Okay, as you can see here, this is a very high magnification, whereas these lines could be seen. Here in this photo also, this is a high magnification where you can see the lines, the incremental lines of von Ebner. They are light, uh, they are dark lines, okay? You can see the pattern of dark light, dark light, dark light, because there is a difference in hypomineralization. It's the same as the uh, structural lines of enamel. They represent differences in composition and mineralization of deposition or activity or and inactivity of secretion. <clears throat> the other kind of lines is the Anderson lines that actually uh, are similar to the enamel stria. So there is enamel stria here in, in enamel. In the dentine, there is these lines, the hazy lines, the one that walks perpendicularly on the dentinal tubules. They are called Anderson lines. Okay, this is not a really good uh, slide for them, but uh, I will show you another one. So if you look here, in the middle, you can see here the lines alternating light dark, light, dark, light, dark. These are the Anderson lines. Also here you can see there is these white and violet patterns of lines inside the dentine showing you the Anderson lines. In this 
next slide you can actually understand the difference between the Anderson and the von Ebner lines as you can see here the lines which are far, far away from each other this is a special staining that's why we can see both here these are the Anderson lines which represents weekly or less or more uh, 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 secretion of dentine and these small lines the white small arrows are the von Ebner lines which actually represent almost the daily secretion of dentine when you are used to the histology of the uh, tooth tissue you will recognize that here is the, the enamel and these are the very special looking dentinal tubules and this is the dentine good sometimes these lines the anderson lines um, has a problem in calcification they become really hypo mineralized and they look very distinctive from other anderson lines in the uh, tissue in the slide when this happens these lines are also named contour lines of owen so contour line of owen could be seen as exaggerated anderson lines or as a line that shows uh, change in the direction of tubules in the secondary curvatures or between primary and secondary dentine okay I will tell you the difference right now so when they are representing a change in the secondary curvature as you can see here they are small lines and they extend for uh, they are interrupted they don't ex uh, extend the whole uh, length of the dentine as you can hear remember this remember this okay but if they are a hypomineralized anderson lines you can see they actually could be seen in the whole section they work the whole increment is hypomineralized and the line is continuous okay anyway at both at both uh, situations these are contour lines of owen As you can see here so you can see some anderson lines walking perpendicularly on the uh, dentine showing the uh, almost weekly intervals of uh, dentine secretion but this one is really distinctive this is the control line of owen okay also you can look here there is another line very distinctive line between the primary enamel which is here and the secondary enamel which is here so we can see two control lines of our in this slide one of the anderson lines is the neonatal line and right now i think we became experts we know that a neonatal line is line that's formed in the tissue to show the before and after birth transition and mineralization and composition so neonatal line is considered a um, an, an Anderson line uh, but how do we uh, know that this is a, a neonatal line for example not a contour line of Owen or so despite that we can actually say it's a contour line of Owen no problem but, uh, but I prefer to call it a neonatal line the neonatal line is found only in primary teeth and in the first permanent molar because these are the teeth that start calcification of dentine in utero that's the first thing the second thing is that usually it's really near the dentino enamel junction and it's not continuous you mostly it's not continuous to the whole uh, enamel uh, to the whole dentine uh, width also most probably you would see another line that looks exactly like it in the enamel that's how you can definitely say this is a neonatal line in dentine so these were the structural line of dentine I hope you understand it very well if you didn't please just um, listen to the video again and I think he, the, the ideas will be clearer for you in the next video we are going to talk about um, the age and post changes in dentine so see you then